only are we working with other mechanical engineers in our grade, but we're also teaming up with early childhood education consultants. And we're really learning from them and talking to them about their expertise on different age ranges to be able to design fun, interactive, age-appropriate toys. So we did a couple of warm-up projects to get the students all familiar with all of the tools that we have in our studio for prototyping. And then we moved on to pool toys um, where they manufactured out of wood um, some, some pool toys and they got to learn some carpentry skills. Um, they then progressed into making uh, parts on our 3D printer and our laser cutter, some more advanced manufacturing. I walked into the science pit and they, we practiced using saws and stuff, so we got to do something completely different than teaching and they got to do something completely different than usual construction. The early childhood majors worked as educational consultants for the engineering teams. They um, provided developmental information about children for the different age groups that they were designing toys for, and also talked about the learning goals that we have for children at different ages. I've never worked with engineers, and I, it was so eye-opening to see how like something that seems so simple, like just some like real toy or something, requires so much work and so much thought behind it. Today we were at the lab preschool observing the kids working with the toy for the first time and it was really great seeing them enjoy it and go at it, see the little flaws that we could have made in the design better, but really see them have fun, other kids working with other toys and looking over and being like, oh, what's the colorful um, wall happening over there? What's all that noise? Where are the golf balls are rolling around? And it's, it was great seeing it. Back to the, train the fact that it was toys, that it was whimsical, um, I think uh, made it more apparent to our students that design should be a fun process. You spend three months on this project and you really, it really brings it together to see kids enjoying it and kids come over and say thank you for making this toy, it's really great. So that, that's our ultimate goal is it's not the grade in the end, it's really how the kids love it.